Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. Today I see Dad do something I don't think he's ever done before. Him and Wiley are going to go buy an engine, bring it back to the farm, put it on the gooseneck, and see if they can get it running. Hopefully they don't get hurt. Let's see if they can actually get it done. So I think Wiley's about to take a big gamble on this engine that we're fixing to go pick up. I don't know, man. I don't, I'm not a fan of paying you know, a couple thousand dollars for a motor and in hopes it may or may not run. You've seen us do that in the past. And we actually drove, if you haven't seen the video where we drove down to, uh, it was three hours away, maybe four hours away to look at a three wheel Hydroax 321 where it ended up where the Cummins 4, uh, uh, 4BT was not, not good. And luckily we didn't buy that one and luckily we dodged a bullet, but while he's gambling again, man, I'm telling you, I'm gonna have to have a talk with this guy because he thinks this engine's, he's got it sold. If it cranks, he's got it sold. Let me start off by saying this. If you're new to the channel, welcome. We appreciate you stopping by. Something in the title and thumbnail made you stop and click. Thank you so much. Go check out some of our other videos if you like heavy equipment tractor videos. Uh, so we appreciate you stopping by. Number two is we're not mechanics. Uh, we work on stuff, but we're entertainers. We just, we just want to provide entertainment for you. We don't know what we're doing, <laughs> but you know, we're two old retired grandpas that just hang out together and do this kind of stuff. Number three is uh, we help people buy stuff and we help and we sell stuff. That's what we do on this channel because a lot of people will say, hey, you need to take that home and restore it. Well, our job is to help the person who's trying to sell the equipment, sell it. And also, if we find a piece of equipment we know someone's in the market for, we'll buy it and flip it. So that's kind of what the, the premises of this channel is, or that's what the channel is all about. What we're gonna do is, I've got a 2006 Bobcat T250. It's got a front mounted brush cutter on it right now. I'm gonna take it off. We're gonna add the pallet forks. We're gonna load this onto a gooseneck. And then while it will be here shortly, we'll take the skid steer and the pallet forks and we will load up a John Deere. It's probably, uh, whatever they put in, 4036s, is that what they put in there? So we're gonna go look at this skidder motor. I don't know what it is. We'll tell you more about it when we get there, so stick around. You guys leave a comment if you've ever bought an engine sight unseen. Have you guys done that? It's a big gamble in my opinion. Let's get started. Fuel in my 55-gallon drum. So that's gonna cost me a fortune whenever I need to refill this. I don't think I'm gonna need much anyway, but well, I think I'm about out. Well, luckily I, I got I got half tank. I mean I've got enough to get the job done today, but I like to top it off when I'm going you know, leaving post, as they say. That's it. My 55 gallon drum is officially empty. Doggone it. So I'm gonna show you something right quick. This is a Cummins 4BT that we couldn't get. It's too far gone. A lot of damage here. I think the internals are messed up as well. There's another video about that one. But I'm gonna load the skid steer first 
onto the gooseneck and then I'm actually going to load the Cummings with the tractor and you think well why are you doing that well because I may not I may not take the Cummings back so I got to wait until uh, Wiley gets here to see if he wants to take that engine uh, to go get the other one because what the plan is the plan is to go pay for the motor come back get my skid steer and then run get the motor the motor where we're paying for it and where it's at is two different places so we may we may get down there and try to pay for it and the guy be like nah never mind or he may say well you know that thing got a piston missing or something <laughs> so we may not end up getting it so we're going to take wiley's truck to go pay for it come back and get my truck in the gooseneck but i'm going to go ahead and get the skid steer loaded up because that doesn't take long at all but i'm going to wait to see if we need to load the engine up or not so it's because some people might want to some people might w watch this and be like why didn't you just load the engine up with the skid steer while you had it out there because we may not be taking it it i guess is the point i'm trying to make all right let me get the gooseneck hooked up and we'll get the skid steer loaded down I think she'll ride fine like that. What do you guys think? My kickstand works great. Need some shorter chains. All right, now we just wait on Wiley. I'll jump in his truck. We'll run down there. We'll pay for the motor, maybe, and then come back, get all this stuff, go get the motor, take it to where we're taking it. All right, hang tight. He'll be here in just a minute. All right, Wiley. You finally showed up. Finally made it. Got my interview mic again today. It's a lot easier just to hold this one mic <laughs> and put it in Wiley's face. What do you think? Well, I don't really like that, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. We're going to go pay for this engine, go back, get my truck, and uh, go load up the engine. Hopefully, right? We're actually paying for the whole skitter. Oh, okay. And, and I'll show it to you when we get there. We're going to pay them for everything. Oh, there you go. Because I mentioned earlier in the video, I was like, we gambled on, you know, we're gambling on if his motor runs or not. We're taking a man. I believe the man. Yeah. But you know how many times we went out there, they said it was running when I parked it. Right, right, right. They got an old Franklin skitter out here. While he's grabbing his money and <laughs> oh. goodbye, 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 Good my friends. Goodbye. <laughs> it was quick, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> a little small operation going on here, a couple of acres. There's that Franklin right there. That's pretty cool. You don't see those every day. I just heard. Wiley and the man talking, this is actually a 40 acre job, so still not very big. What I can see here is probably two or three acres, but evidently they're cutting on back down in that area. So I hope this, uh, I hope this gamble pays off on this motor that we're buying from this outfit. Pretty small outfit. We made it, Wiley. We made it. And here's what we drove all this way for, Hank. <laughs> 
Fine machine. Fine. <laughs> G2? Nothing, nothing that a little elbow grease won't fit. Yeah. A G3. A G3. All right. The transmission went bad in it. He replaced it, still had trouble with it. And so he took his engine out. The engine runs good, he said. Took his engine out because he was going to try to put it in that one. The Franklin? Yeah. And you can see what discouraged him about that. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a few Franklins out oh, here. Oh, he didn't get rid of much. He was a Franklin guy. What's this back here? This That's log, a log hog? Ho log hog loader. It got a motor in it? It uh, don't look like it. I think so. Let's see if we can crank it. Where's the, <laughs> where's the motor at? Let's go hunt it. It's All like right. a scavenger hunt. On the hunt. It's a scavenger hunt. This tire don't go with it, Hank. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But you, you, that's what you gave the money for, this skitter and that motor. And this other piece that I'm about to we'll show you over here. Okay. There's some uh, 24 fives right there. Yeah. Well, They're on aluminum wheels, though. So. All right, Hank. There it is. I hope your gamble pays off. Well, we ain't gonna be able to crank it here, Wiley. And how? That is uh, the flywheel. Uh, that's what your drive comes off the drive, your hydraulics. Okay. So this is it, there's the flywheel. That, and the little old, it's got to have a bell housing. And look at there. There's one bolt in there. There's four bolts in there. That's good. Mm-hmm. Does it need a starter? It does. He said the starter was at the skitter. Okay. So you're going to actually come back with a low boy and pick up the body, I guess. Yes. The fuselage, if you will. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to sell this stuff for a little bit more than I paid for it, this other item I'm about to show you. Yeah. And hopefully I can keep this other piece and sell a few parts off of it. Yeah. Because you make more money that way with that machine rather sure. than selling it outright. But here, this is a ground saw. CTR 42 IP, it's a pretty good ground saw. The issue is And we might, there's where you come in, we might need your famous welding. <laughs> Listen. But they all break there. Not all of them, but a lot of them break there. That's where you put your chain oil in. Yeah. There's the bar for it. How would you like to have a chainsaw hooked to that? Whoo, son. Yeah, man. But hopefully, Hank, since we're here, what about if we take your skid steer, load this up first, haul it up, my buddies unload it, then come back, get the motor, and call it a day. Yeah. There is a, uh, a uh, slot for the chain on the front side of this. I didn't have to go through the boom, but I, I went through the boom anyway. What'd you do, just get your broom handle and push your hook through there? Uh, yeah, P uh, PVC pipe. I tell you what, Wiley, I felt that skid steer on back of his trailer now. Yeah. All right. I thought you was, I know that was the first time you hauled it, but I thought a little bit too much on the truck. Yeah. My man fat was jiggling. 
I gotta fix that latch on that door too. He's going in, folks. What's that? He's going in. He's going in. Well, I bet there's some critters in this thing. Hey. You just lift up the back and push it, the door's locked. You're about dead center. You're about dead center on the back. Let me throw a chain and just move it just a grunt on the front. Sure, whatever. Cause it, that, that's your heavy side. Yeah, yeah. I believe that's got her. Come on, come under that one time. Over and under. That way, it, 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 that bring your chain back across it. I will. Come back to you. Yeah. I'm pulling forward. You want to pull backwards on this one? Pardon me. I'm pulling forward. You want to pull kind of, okay. kind of backwards? Yeah. You guess? Yeah.
get one. You couldn't get one more? <laughs> Okie dokie. You want me to get on top of it and just run my chain through there? I mean, run my fork through there? Yeah, I think so. I brought a chain. I didn't know we had it like this. You just want me to run my fork right here? I think so. All right. Well, walk me on, boss man. I forgot my hearing protection. It's a 6088. I, th I don't know what I was saying earlier in the video. I'm making all kinds of numbers up. 6060, 60, uh, 6088. Uh, 6068. Yeah, I still got a lot to learn, Donna. Remember that part about us not being mechanics? <laughs>
wherever you need to be. Whenever you get ready, wherever you are on. That's good. You good there? Yeah. All right, what we're gonna do now is just strap the motor down so that it will ride secure and we'll be done. With this, with loading it, we'll take it back to the house, crank this bad boy up. What do you think, Wally? I think it'll crank. I think it'll It's a big gamble, wasn't it? Or it ain't it? I Still is, it. yeah. <laughs> All right, we got it back to the house. It's 6.30 in the morning. Let's see, I think it's 6.30. Oh, it's 7.06. 7.06 in the morning. I've been out here since about 6.30. Put the fly, Wiley's coming, he's got the bolts for the flywheel, so I've, I've already put the flywheel up and positioned it with the dial here. So I'm gonna take my skid steer, I'm gonna lift it up, get it on there, and I've got this one bolt that will just hold it in place. And then I'm gonna take the starter and run some 12 volts to it to see if at least the starter engages so he don't have to, or he might have to bring a new starter. But that's what the plan is this morning is to actually get it cranked, the engine cranked up. But, let me get the skid steer. I'll raise this up a little bit. I'll just kind of secure it with this cheap bolt. Obviously, we're not going to leave that one in it. And uh, we'll go from there. Now we got the flywheel where we're able to put it on a little better. And I can run that bolt in there just to hold it until Wiley gets here with the real bolts. There it is. How about that? Putting that mark on there helped. This will just hold it in place. Keep it from falling off. Man. I looked and I, I found these boats. That's John Deere. Yeah, and I said, this has got to be them. <laughs> we're going to try it. See Hopefully. Anyway. All right. So before we do that, we're going to test this starter out and see if the starter is actually any good. Yeah. So let me, uh, we got our new cables out and we're excited about those. 12 volt guy are. again. All right. All right. Here, I'll hold the ground to the. All right. I'll just. I think you hit right here. All right, let's there. try it. All right, go again. There it goes. Okay, so she's spinning. These spinning, and this must kick it out. Yeah, I think those those will those will kick it out, and that will spin it. So you want to touch those together? And... What's gonna give us power? Oh yeah. Ooh. We ain't done. Of course, that's that's aluminum. Yeah. Uh, what about this bolt right here? That's where the hot, hot goes. That's where this would go. Oh, gotcha. I mean, you could definitely, if you could. I'll hold it down there. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get it to. There it goes. Yeah. So, so it goes out and it spins, so we're good. Now we just got to get them together, right? Yeah. Well, we'll figure that out when we put it in there. Sure, we will. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? Yeah, man. Like it when the plan comes together, don't you? Well, I'm telling you what. I tried to clean those threads out this morning. I'm going to take the... Try to run it up evenly. Yeah. I sure do. I figured you did. Are they three-quarter? They are not. Well, I mean, we got options. I can't believe how small the head bolt. 
the size is. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'll snug them down here in a sec. I don't care too much for starting them with impact drivers, but you know what I mean? You did anyway. Well, I could, you know, like that one. Yeah. I'll, I'm, I'm not going to no, no. yeah, clean that one up a little bit. Just straight, come on with it. You ready? Yeah. All right. Just dirty. Yeah. I don't know the torque specs for those. Maybe one ugga ugga. See there. Oh, there you go. Yeah. It's not locked up. Not locked up. That's good. Your gamble's paying off. So far, so good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you want to throw a torque wrench on those things? Put yeah. maybe 100 foot pounds or something? Or uh, 60 foot pounds? 80? I don't know. We're just going to tighten the snot out of them. All right. We'll just tighten the snot out of them then. Sounds good. You know which ones are to start these? Do you know if those are the starter bolts? Uh, no, they're not. <laughs> They'll have. Hand right me the one with the yellow, the smaller one, the yellow. This one won't fit. This one don't fit through the hole. This actually a smaller one. Gotta love this stuff there. Mm-hmm. Not fitting through the holes there, Wiley. You know what they may have done? Not give you the right bolts. They may have took the starter off at the skitter. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. We should be able to go to the local hardware store. Yeah, yeah. And get a... Start a bolt. Start a bolt. Threads. Oh, it's just a little too small. I'm telling you, these things right yeah, here, Wiley, are so handy. Yeah, I think it'll tighten up, really. All right, well, let me see what size that is, then. It just looks small for a starter boat, don't it? Yeah. X head on it right there. See if that's the next size. Uh... Yeah, there you go, thank you. No, that's not standard. Okay. It goes to metric. Metric, or 10 millimeter fine, I bet. Yeah. Okay. So this is 10, 10 millimeter fine. That's 3 8 coarse. Okay. So is it three eighths coarse or? Well, if that's three eighths coarse, let's, what about your long one right there? This one. Yeah, the long. Nope, nope, nope. The one right. Nope, that one in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. That's All right. That should be it. You know, these starters are a little easier to get to, my friend. Yeah. Turn it the other way. That would have been self-critiquing after I figured out. Yeah. Going on. Look at you in your Spanish speaking vocabulary. Hold on one second. I'm probably gonna take these gloves off. Quit being a sissy and take the gloves off, right? You want me to hold your hand? <laughs> I want to hold your hand. I think we probably could just get by with those two. All right. To you, to get what on. size head on those, Wiley? They are going to be a 9 16 I think. 
Oh gosh. Hang on, don't be so sure. Five eighths ain't it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Probably fifteen millimeter or anything. That was way off. Seventeen. Seventeen. There's one. Now I gotta hook some fuel up to it, don't I? Yeah, what was the joke about the uh, the Spanish speech? The, ma uh, the magician? Yeah. <laughs> Uno dos and then disappeared without a trace. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember. It, some of them you tell are funny. <laughs> Most of them are not. Most of them are not. People would get to see how a starter engages the flywheel, won't they? Mm-hmm. We're educational channel. Sure we are. <laughs> <laughs> that was a funny joke. <laughs> I'll put the fuel up here. Set it right there. And I've got a fuel electric fuel pump, Wiley. Are we gonna try that? Oh, and I need you need a hose clamp. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I don't think it'd be How about too much fuel pressure that that won't work. This is kind of like watching the <laughs> inside of a, right there I have, I have it. Oh yeah, we'll be able to, with this clear tube, man, yeah. it'll be pretty neat. Like watching blood going through your veins. That's right. Except I think fuel costs more than blood. <laughs> Nowadays it I does. What they Paying for a pint of blood. I remember when I was a young, young military guy. Pay bills, we'd go sell plasma, you know. All right then. <laughs> that was that's funny one. Uh oh, yeah, but leave us enough. Uh, well, we're going to pump it so it don't matter now. We can set it on the... Oh, gotcha. The shade's moving, Wiley. Truck around on it. We'll follow the shade. You have a mobile shop. Yeah. See how uh, you put it all the way around. Ready? Yeah. There it comes. Yep. Like sands through the hourglass. <laughs> So are the days of our lives. <laughs> Come on, hey. <laughs> oh, yeah, boy. <laughs> uh oh, it stopped. What happened? I don't know. I messed up your mojo, didn't I? I talked. Well, just hang on, hang on a minute. Let me try to see if that. Let me get a block. Oh, 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 oh. Here you go. Let me get a block. Okay. Don't feel right, does it? I think it's about to go. Oh yeah, well, I had something. In. Will it will it go into that one? Oh, it's leaking out the. Yeah. Or, oh, it's leaking out the actual pump itself. How much water's in that?
Let's yes, do that that's one. a good idea. I was just fixing to say that. Just fixing to say that. That's nasty. Definitely don't want that to motor. That's weird, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah, you got it's like you catch it and it goes. A lot of trash in there, that's all. You can see something solid in that too. Looks appears to be solid right there. Mm -hmm. Man, we had to get a lot of trash out of there, but it seems to be working now. There you go. Let's um uh, let's try to throw a strap across this. Okay. Uh, I probably need to raise the engine up some because the flywheel is on the tire. See what I'm saying? Yeah, well. I, I, I believe that's clear. Yeah. This might smoke just a little bit. <laughs> Are we going to burn rubber? Yeah. <laughs> All right, we got the return hooked up. What you think, boss? <laughs> nothing, to it, nothing to it but to do it, right? That's all. Try to keep that out of the way. Yeah. That thing just... All right. All right. There's a negative right there. Need a... Need another uh, vice grip. Well, I got plenty. <clears throat> Here we go. There you go. <laughs> How about that? Yeah, buddy. Nothing happened over here. Nothing? Uh-uh. All right, we're gonna give it a little more juice there. So essentially we got the hot to the starter, the ground to the engine up there. Let's see if we can't make this thing turn a little faster. Hey Wiley. Hey. How many, you wanna know, check the oil on that thing? Well, <laughs> I mean, well that might be wise. Oh, this thing right here is making oil. This thing is making oil. We need to put that on a t-shirt. As in Jim. We do have those on t-shirt. If you guys are interested, the merch link is in the description below. Yeah. If I could just 
You can see you didn't put it back in. <laughs> All right, buddy, fire it up. Well, if it spins good, you might have to get up here. You got oil, I mean, you got fuel coming out of that lines up there. All right, you might. What you need me to do? Tighten them down? Right, here we go. Thanks. Okay. And it's got water coming out of it. Water coming out of where? The starter. Well, it's been, it's set outside. I mean, we're getting some air now. We're getting some air worked out of it. Yeah, pretty bad. Uh, you smell it? No, I just figured it was. Yeah, Not that this is helping, but <laughs> <laughs> turn it on me. All right, ready? Yeah. Be nice if I keep my hand on it. Hold on a sec. gonna try to sling 24 volts on it right quick kind of a last resort type deal before we go get another starter so we were setting the batteries up in parallel now we'll run them in series series increases your volts parallel increases your amps smoking yeah i'm talking like a daggum chimney like a daggum we burn her up boy yeah i smell it <laughs> Ugh. i know you have a appointment yeah and i probably need to go run down a starter and i probably need to bring the right fuel line for yeah for that All right, so i we believe i believe that's got to have something to do with fuel pressure also that smaller line, it's just, I think we would be okay out of the tank. Yeah. But. Well, that gives me time to look for the fuel pump, too. Yeah. All right, well, we'll come back tomorrow. What do you think? Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. All right, it's actually next morning. Wiley's actually going to get a new starter for the motor. I'm going to make a real quick repair to the skid steer. If you've noticed, any time I've opened up my toolbox lid, there's this, been this sticker here. It's called Friday Parts. And which, by the way, if you haven't sent me a sticker and you want to, my P.O. box is in the description. You got to send me a sticker and I'll put it on here. I've got a lot of cool, a lot of these guys are YouTubers. But anyway, so I ordered some bobcat vents off of friday parts that was send a neat little air freshener i'll put friday parts website below but i've got six six seven four two three one parts these are just the vents to go in here so let's go ahead and let's put these on i like friday parts they've always been a good partner to us and they've always had what we needed and they've always had really really good customer service so we'll go ahead Get these slapped on here before Wiley gets here. I'll tell you what I'll do. Since these actually come into two parts, I might just take the louvers out 
and hold on a sec here. I might just take the louvers out and replace these and keep the outer rims in case the other ones break. That way I can pull the old broke ones out and put the new ones in. Let's try that and see how that works. A lot of you have been talking about the final drive motors or wine and then the skid steer. I'm telling you, look at that fluid level. You can't see it, but it's full. I mean, there's no visible leaks. There's, I don't know. I just don't know what to say about that whining noise. Oh, I'll tell you what, exactly what I'll say about the whining noise. The whining noise is only, uh, it, I will, in the defense of the machine, now there is a whining noise, but in the defense of the machine, the microphone makes it a lot louder than what it really is. But there is a whining noise, so I gotta figure that out. Let's see if I can just put this in here like, look at that. No, I better put the whole thing in there. Okay, let's take the whole thing out and put the new ones in. that opened up pivots in there and that's one of four complete let's change the other for three out Okay, so all four put in. Thanks again, Friday Parts. I'll put the link right here across the screen, fridayparts.com, and I'll also put it in the description. Let's put little man, let's put him up here so that he's uh, he makes the cab smell nice and fresh. What do you say? If you, if you watched any of my other videos, you know I got a lot of parts for the John Deere 310 from, from these guys. All righty. Hard to do with one hand. Okay, now he's gonna hit me in the head every time I go down there. But he smells good. <laughs> All right, let's get the starter put on the 6068, shall we? Wiley should be here any minute now. All right, that little small task is done. I do need a blower motor for the AC. It's on its way. Um, I had to order that from a different company. It'll be here in a day or two, so I'm gonna make a separate video actually putting the blower motor in that in the uh, skid steer so with that being said let's wait on Wiley he'll be here in just a minute 
You guys remember what size they were? Five eighths, maybe? They were bigger than that one. Oh, I remember 11 six inches. Yeah. That's all starter with toast, wasn't it? All right, now we're ready for the new starter to come in when he's when he gets here. Seems to be working out for him. I'm thinking it's going to fire up and they'll be able to get this thing sold. What about you? Leave a comment with the percentage that you think this thing will get running. I'm going with 100%. Hopefully this fits. Hey, it does. How lucky is that? That's nice. You like the what? I wish that was magnetic. You know? Huh. Does that pop off there? Oh, it, yeah, it goes in like this. There we go. Sometimes you got to be smarter than the piece of equipment you're working on. You know? Yeah. Sometimes that's difficult, isn't it? <laughs> I would say more than sometimes. Yeah. I would say often. We got beat the rain today, don't we, buddy? Well, yeah, it's coming. I just ran into it for about the last 45 minutes north of here, and it's raining pretty hard. Yeah. There we go. Let's try that. You want to? I hear my dog in there barking. Probably smells that biscuit I was eating. <laughs> other way, other way, other way, stand it up. There you go. Okay. Right. This one's gonna make it fire right up, buddy. All right, let me get the other. Be going this way. I got things I can be doing also, Hank. Oh, you got some fuel lines? Yeah. Hank, you know, yesterday I went back to the tractor and got this fuel line. And the way we had our cobbling done, right? It, it wasn't a short hose like that. It, yeah. When it come out of the pump, it went to the filter, and, filters, and, and then back to the side then. Gotcha. Yeah. You should have caught that. Well, I did. I didn't want to say nothing on camera because I didn't want you to look bad. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. While you're doing that, I'll get the cables put on the batteries. I charged these batteries last night, by the way. 
So we got, might just need one, you know? Uh, I don't know, Hank. I mean, we can all, do you want me to hook up two? I've got. Yeah, let's do two while you're there. Okay. Don't get this, don't make this starter. This brand new $325 starter. Let's just give it all. Okay. I'll go ahead and hook this battery. It's negative to the ground up here. See, issue already. Oh yeah, what's that? Flat face O-ring is missing off this. And it's not going to seal. Oh. Yeah, it's not good, is it? Good at all. Throw the positive up there here in a minute. Hmm. There you go. I might get it enough though, you know. Yeah. Yeah, we go through all this problem. I don't have any in my. Yeah, I know it. I, I know I'm it. sorry. That's all right. I just doubt you might have. I'm probably thinking something in a minute. I bet you I know where one might be. So we got the batteries hooked up. Got a fuel line on over there just to, hoping that it's going to do good. <laughs> Yeah. What? Oh, uh, what? Oh, you got the return line put back in the tank. I'm sorry. What do you want me to do? You want to tighten up on that? Just give it. Uh, okay, sure will. A little bit of. Yep, I'll do it. Oh, oh. Hey, oh, now. <laughs> Whoa, that sucker was coming up, wasn't it? Yeah, but I think she ain't going nowhere. Let me tighten these down. Hey, y'all. Uh, yep. That thing's about to crank. Yeah, of course it's going to crank. Hey, I, I know I just said, hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're going to finish that thought today or what? I think I'm not, I, I don't know what it's going to do. I might have you, just try it and see what it's going to do. Just, just spin it and we'll see if it just starts trying to turn over. It looked like it was picking up on this end. Yeah, ready? I think you're good now. Okay. Okay. All right. You reckon, uh, let me bleed some air, Hank, if you've got the... What size you need? I think it was 11 sixteenths. 13 maybe, or 11? I think it was 11 on these injectors. That started with bad from the get-go, wasn't it? Yeah. How are you gonna okay. cut it off? I got the I got the I got the kill right here. Okay. Say when. When. Oh, yeah, she's something. gone. She's gonna fire. We're doing something, all right? Ready? Yeah. Sorry, I touched the. Uh, that's all. That's my three hundred dollars starter. <laughs> Sorry, I touched the uh, <laughs> vice grips. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna fire, dude. This is this gamble's paying off. Okay. All right, ready? Yeah. Love 
love it. Ready? I said, I love it. Hmm. It's a fuel, it's a fuel supply issue, dude. You know? We, d we ain't got the fuel right to it. So, it's hey, at least, that's all right. At least you know the engine runs. Yeah, let's, uh, let's play with it just a tad. Ten four. You don't have your, sir. If you, if you had your starter button, we could be using it. Uh, but we tore it up, didn't we? Did I not buy another one? I can't remember. Yeah, I don't remember neither. All right. Ready? Yeah. Ready? Yep. Here we go. You want me to? I'll do that part. I think this because ain't that 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 last uh, injector line is leaking. I got them ball broke. Loose. Oh, okay. Try it one more time, and I'll try to give it some fuel here now. All right. Get my face out of the way of that. <laughs> Let me stand on this side. All right, ready? Yeah. Like I say, man, I believe your gamble paid off, dude. What size you need? The 13, the one that was on the... Look at this, I'm trying to keep everything dry. Dry, 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 that is dry. <laughs> <laughs> Track number nine on our greatest hits album. Well, brother, that's awesome. Spin it over, honey, if you don't mind. All right. Not yet needing fuel. Yeah. And we can put that electric fuel pump on it, but that won't. Well. You, you want to do that? Yeah. Okay, let's do that. What's that? We're getting a little bit now. Yeah, you keep going. Spray me in my eyeballs again. Yeah, let's see if we can. <laughs> Red? Yeah. You want me to spray and you can you got yeah. more? Yeah, there's a, you got the empty can, I think. No, I didn't. Uh oh. 
Uh, I may have some more. Let me look. All right, here we go. Dude, good job, dude. Watch your head, Fred. I didn't know I was gonna have to give you a helmet. <laughs> oh my goodness, Wiley. That's awesome, dude. Yeah, that's awesome. So we've got the, the motor brought to the gentleman that's going to buy it. So what we're going to do now is he's bringing, a, he's bringing his trailer here. We'll get it unloaded and he'll unload it with this deer excavator. And we'll get it cranked so he can see it running and then we will finish up the, this transaction. We've changed the oil in it, put the new starter on it. You saw that. We changed the oil in it. So now we'll just go ahead and, and get it... Uh, let the customer hear it run and see what we can do. Yep. Nice when you have big equipment. That part wasn't any good for sure. See it? I can't see over the. There it is. There you go. I've... Hey, the couple things I don't understand is how do you haul logs and sit here and blow out like this? <laughs> uh, I got this, Hank. Don't. <laughs> well, there ain't room for both of us up there. <laughs> Dude. Okay. Can you do your bucket, roll your bucket out?
I can pull up. You want me to pull up? You got it now. Thank you, guiding him. Yeah. Well, that's what you want. We're actually going to try this with a jump box, so we're, we don't know what that's like here at Hamiltonville Farm, but we're going to try it. So this is a Carlisle 850 from Napa. Turn that bad boy on 12 volts. It's got 11.3 showing, so that might be enough. Where you want? Yeah. You think that'll work? Oh, on that side. All right, let me pump the... Oh yeah, you gotta get the fuel to it. Yeah. Both got to touch. No, just a small one. That's the return line. It's still got some in it. It should fire right off. Uh -uh, uh -uh, that jump box. Let's hook that other. Yeah. Yeah, it won't take us two seconds. Yeah, they're not gonna die. Need a little help, don't they? Yeah, yeah parked on that. Parked on that. Yeah. On the other side, well, on that tire, you'll see when we burn a little bit before. That's what I want to tell you. I ain't gonna worry about the tires. <laughs> That's what I was gonna tell you before in the video when you, that smoke you seen was from the tire. Uh, oh, we must have clipped it on there. We did. Oh. Right. I'll go get the vice grips instead of the adjustable wrench, which hurts my heart, Wiley. We gotta have all the cobbling. I'll tell you what, I... I think we did it right here. I can't get there. All right. Let's see. Well, this this will be the second time I've cranked an engine on a trailer. First time on a single axle. <laughs> First time on a single axle. We're all, we're breaking new ground here all the time. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Fire in a hole. That's something else, hey, dog. Look at that. Yeah. Woo! Twenties. Are you are you buying lunch? What? Come on now. Hey, listen. We appreciate you guys watching. A uh, big shout out to Aiden in Ireland. Uh, I know you're watching this, Aiden. I appreciate you watching, buddy. And uh, for the rest of you guys, take care. God bless you guys. Let's go sell something else. Let's go get something to eat. Oh, that's an even better idea. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys later. Take care. God bless. We have merchandise and discount codes in the description box below and check out the Amazon link in the first comment. Those links help support the channel. Thank you for watching and God bless.